Um, so ladies and gentlemen, this question right now, what they're asking us to do is find the unit vector in the given direction of this vector here. So remember, there's a couple things we need to remember about unit vector. One is a unit vector has a magnitude of one. one. Thank you very much. So the next thing we also want to remember is how can we write, if we're given a vector as a linear combination, what does that represent as component form? Remember, this vector is the same thing as written as 6, comma, negative 2. Right? That's going to be our component form of our vector. So what we want to do is if we draw this vector, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If we were to draw this vector, does that vector have a magnitude of 1? Um, no, yeah. right? But we, what we want to do is we want to draw this, exact, this vector where it has a magnitude of 1, but it's still going to keep the same direction. So how do we do that? Well, we call the unit vector, unit vector u, is going to equal v over the magnitude of v. Okay, So that was our formula for our unit vector. So now what we need to do is figure out what the magnitude of v is, and then divide it by our vector v. So remember, magnitude of a vector v equals the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared. Right? So now. We can say the square root of v1, which is 6, squared plus negative 2 squared, which equals the square root of 36 plus 4, which equals the square root of 40. All right? Then let's see if we can simplify that, obviously. The square root of 40, we know we can reduce down to 2 squared of 10. All right? Remember all that practice on some fine radicals? Yes. Just simplify it. I was going to say, can you do the numbers and then add them together? Do the numbers and then add them together. Yeah. What do you mean, add them first? Yeah, like can you do the square root of 36 and then 4 and then Because what's the square root of 36? 6. What's the square root of 4? 2. 2. What's 6 plus 2? 2. Is 8 that answer? Mm -hmm. Right? So you got to make sure you, you, can't, you can't distribute the square root among addition or subtraction. So you got to add them up first, OK? OK, so now we have u is equal to v, which is our vector 6, comma, negative 2. Now we're going to divide that by 2, square root of 10. Then what we'll simply do is divide each factor, or I'm sorry, each vector by the magnitude. OK? Then, once we have it in that format, now what we can simply do is just go ahead and reduce. Divide the twos. And there you go. Final answer. Thomas, does that help? Oh, God. Yeah, I'm